Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys, but we got some wind, some heavy winds. But the next uh, four or five days are gonna be very nice. So I wanna take advantage of today, a windy day, to make sure everything's working, do a little bit of a test drive. So I figured what I would do is hit this new launch spot that I started using. But uh, today is to go check out a few pocket areas for finding some fishy spots. So we're gonna go ahead around, check things out and uh, maybe catch something. So that's the plan. Man, what a nice little deck and everything. I bet you could put a chum bag out here in the evening times and yeah, there's some big fish right there. They look like jacks. Man, look at them. They're all like, feed me, we're here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just basically cruise all these shorelines and uh, looking for fishy spots. I know this area would probably hold a bunch of stuff. Like we just saw those uh, jacks hanging out there. I bet people uh, feed them, but I'm sure there's a tons of snapper, probably some uh, snook and uh, tarpon in here as well. Probably a lot better early mornings or uh, late in the evening, nighttime, but still today is just kind of a recon, do a little bit of fishing, but I want to check looking for pockets and uh, little deep cuts. So even right where the launch is, come around the corner, you see like there's a uh, entrance way here for another side channel. Any of these areas like that, these crates, these mouths are always a good opportunity to take a look at because they uh, for water movement and good ambush points. It's a real silty, smutty bottom, so I know it doesn't carry a lot of oxygen in here, so that's only negative, but that's the kind of stuff we're looking for. And you'll only find them if you just start trailing along these edges. A nice school of pilchers would be nice too. This is probably the one of the better areas here. You've got the bridge, and then you kind of got the outlet. So let's run along these edges and see what we see. That's the only negative thing about this channel is they got the jet skis run out of here, so not the best, but you got some deep undercuts underneath here. Well, you can see how windy it is out there. You can see that water being pushed that way. That's just from the wind. There are glass minnows. But I'm gonna follow this edge, get along the mangroves on that side as a wind block, and these corners are what I'm looking for. Try to stay out of the wind as much as possible. So the outlet was over there. I'm just coming along the channel along this side. And then we're just gonna try to get up there where the windbreak is and just follow that edge all the way around. There's really not a lot of reason for fish to be in this area because there's not really very much current. But when it was, if it wasn't so windy, you might see fish kind of just edging along these mangroves looking for food. But it's just so windy now. If I didn't have the motor going, I'd get blown backwards super fast. So we're just going to putt along, look for little pockets, look for any deep water areas. And in this corner, we've got the Marriott. Used to have business meetings over here all the time. But just want to take a look here. That's the main edge that I want to check out along there. But we're just going to keep following it around and see what we see. Highlings are always good, but you can see how shallow. So there's really not much in the way of current or depth got structure but nothing else and yeah, nurse shark and there's a little beach area there for the ho the, the hotel but now we'll edge that way and run along there and see if we see anything might be able to spot fish this area usually if there's any current <laughs> These poles would have holes with them, but back in this corner, I don't think so, but won't hurt to check out. Oh, Ray, some snappers. First sign of life I've been seeing. Like a lot of little pinfish, that's good to know. Yeah. No change at all. Ah, oh, not a cut, pipe, tube, nothing. All this consistently shallow, sandy, a little bit of grassy, but no real good structure, no good current, 
not looking good. Somebody's old party barge. Not anymore. A couple of good cores. Get a few dollars for those. But same stuff. And I found my pilchards back there. So I might see if I could uh, pick up a few of those. We're to the end of where I wanted to look. Not really anything worthwhile. But step two is to fish the little quarry cutout that they dug out for building materials. So a nice little trench here. Maybe fish a little bit there. And then uh, we got the island as well. So let's see if these pilchards are around. Yep, found them. They're all right there. Nice big pocket of them. Sweet. Hello, pilchards. I found your hiding spot. Oh, before we get fishing, uh, another quick announcement here for my product testers club and Patreon supporters. I just got a big shipment of my Cobra jig heads in stock, about 75 pounds worth. So I'm finally back in stock. So I could start sending them out to my July product tester club members. I know July, but you know, I was out of stock. So I'm going to be sending you guys out a sample pack of the uh, Cobra jig heads. So for my $20 and higher Patreon supporters, uh, you guys will automatically be getting them. And then I'm going to pick 10 names out of the rest of the group and also ship you guys a sample pack as well. So there probably should have been some names scrolling while I've been yakking. Those are the people that are going to be getting them. So keep an eye out in your mail. But wait, there's more. I'm not just going to send you some bare Cobra jig heads with no bait. D hooker 5000. I'm going to send you the Cobra jig head sample pack and some nice, lively, fresh Key West live bait. So, Eric Drury from Florida, keep an eye out for your mail. All right, that's all some really nice pilchards built right inside there. So, hopefully, I can get the net on them. It's a little bit deep, but not too bad. needed them to squirt out just a little bit because otherwise those, as soon as the net hits they're going to run underneath there so we'll wait them out and throw it when I'm ready all right let's stone them over here ready oh yep we did good Look at that. That is a jackpot. That's money right there. Nice. That is beautiful. Look at that. That is just woo, nice. Oh, I don't get any better than that. Here's the edge of that deep channel that we're going to fish. So it's all dug out and drops right off into this. I'm not sure which way the water's going. I think it's going that way. It's going against the wind. So we may set up on this side. Here's the other edge. The wind's gonna blow me one way, the current the other, so. Might have to just sit out here in the middle and see what happens. All right, I think we're anchored okay. So now I'm gonna put the 
chum bag in start throwing a few of these chummers out there see if we can catch something in this pit got these nice beautiful pilchards here so I'm just gonna put one on top just throw it out there then rig up one for the bottom fortunately I've got turned around but that's okay for now see hopefully we don't get cut off too often and just have that guy out there throw some of these smaller ones out it's chum got the chum flag flowing so hopefully we'll get some action going here so in this case, got a little bit of deeper water. I've already got a bait up on top, no weight at all. So I wanted something to get it to the bottom. So I'm gonna use the Cobra. This is the quarter ounce, the smallest one. And that should be just enough weight to get that bait to kind of flutter down and sit in the lower in the water column. All right, so got my Cobra jig head, hooked it with a loop knot. So it's got a little bit of flexibility. I'm gonna go through the chin, and then out the uh, top of the roof, the mouth, that little hard section there. And that is our rig there. Nice live pilchard. It's gonna be sitting on the bottom. And we're gonna put it out towards that edge there. Oh, shoot. Hit my rod there. Well, we'll see if there's anything in close. Moving up on that chum line. Uh, I think something's got it. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Senior snappers. There we go. That was on the live one. Ugh. Nice. Hey, hey. There we go. There we go, there's our first victim. There we go, that's on the uh, Cobra jig head with the live one. Getting better. Oh, that's a mutton, little mutton. Can't see ya. Yeah, nice little mutton there not quite of legal age so it'll go back very pretty though i think i've already got one just put it out there there we go there we go I'm liking that cobra pilchard combo we got this one. Oh, yellowtail snapper man <laughs> we've got uh Mangrove, a mutton, and then now a yellowtail. Wow, bro, you swallowed it. I need that back. Man, getting all the species in here. So it's pretty quick, just uh, through the chin, out the top of the roof of the mouth there, where it's a little bit more dense. And we're just gonna flick it back, leave the bell open so that they could take it. The one's already got it. playing with it and I think he's got it there and set the hook there there we go looks like another mangrove snapper man they're swallowing it what the hell all right there we go that's on the circle hook Took me a few tries. That gotcha. 
Oh, that's because he swallowed the circle hook. Man, these guys are just ferocious. Oh, watch this. Top water action. Oh, ah, 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 run, run. Oh, I think, I think he's met his death. Yeah, but you got hooked, whatever got him. <laughs> oh, mangrove snapper. You got him, but I got you. Now I've got the uh, two and five eighths ounce paddle tail. Gotta throw a couple of chummers out there. Get them all excited. See where they're gonna bust at. And then throw this guy out there. Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm following it. There we go. There it is. Damn. Hey, that's one of my nicer ones. Match the hatch. Nice little paddle tail. Boom. So you can see what I'm throwing versus, whoops. You can see what I'm throwing. That's probably closer to a four inch, but that's one of the bigger pilchards, but matching that hatch. We've got that nasty storm coming through here. So I think I'm gonna make a run for it and get back to shelter. Yeah, that one's looking a little bit ugly. So let's get on out of here. Alrighty. We've done enough catching. Ah, dang it! Well, we seem to have beat the storm. It's blue skies again, so that's nice. Back early. Don't mind those at all, but uh, worked out perfectly. I mean, I hit those new areas, those three sides, and they're not gonna hold fish. Well, they could, but in general, there's nothing there. There's no current flow, because it's just solidly blocked off. So without current, you're really just not gonna see much. Uh, there's no holes, there's no channels cut through there. So it's kind of a dead zone. However, by doing that, I found the pilchards, although it was around the corner there, but now I know, and that'll be a great, great spot. So when I need some, I know where to find them. And then if I've got live pilchards, I'm catching, just no doubt about it. And I caught until I didn't want to catch anymore. So you can't beat that. Almost makes me want to go flats fishing and not worry about getting skunked. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters, uh, to my product testers group. Uh, expect some uh, Cobra jig, head, jig heads in the mail and some fresh bait. So don't wait too long. So anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.